There's a hint of sunset in the sky. I like that. <sighs> I like the sunset. But you see, it's not even 6 p.m. yet. So these early sun sunsets are, you know, they're changing how much I can get recorded in a day. And they're changing how much I can get done in a day as well. And I'm thinking through how that is, how I'm going to accommodate for that. Because of course, at the peak of summer, the sun is up till around 9 p.m. a lot of times. 9.30 sometimes at the real peak of summer. And then this time of year, it starts to really change a lot. And so at the earliest dark point after the time change and everything, our sun is going to go down at 4.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, it really will. And you know, that's okay. The seasons do change. So the question will just be how much content of garden type will I be able to create in the dead of winter? We get um, rather mild winters these days. I like our mild winters in some ways and I'm really sad about them in others. So these mild winters I can keep doing things all winter. That's when I got the tire stairwell done. I'll put a playlist on that. It's a pretty short one. And it's when I got both the tire stairwells done it was in like January or February. That's the compost again. It's not just a pile of trash. It's compost. And, um, you know, it's just most of my content is produced on weekends because by the time I'm done with work it's already dark on weekdays even if I'm working from home the best I'll be able to do is come outside at lunch and have a look around I don't know if that means I'll schedule uploads from the weekend throughout the week because there are weekends and days when I get five out of a day. Is that something people would like? I also just installed a brighter light. It's not as bright as I had hoped in the porch area so I can work on bicycles in the later evening and still have it be visible like a shop light. I'm so excited about the paw paws here and there. So we can work on the bicycle when it's quote unquote winter time. I'm zone 6B, 7-ish. Kind of depends on which year it is, it seems. So um, there's quite a lot that we can do. It doesn't get that that cold. It snows. And if we get a really good year for snow, which I love snow, you'll get to find out that I'm a cross-country skier and I can take you cross-country skiing with me. Winter is also, I would say, a pretty good time for me to start to learn an editor uh, so that I can patch up some of these videos I've been saving for yins. Look, we still got peppers. We did have some frost, but it didn't take the peppers out. They're fine. We haven't had that hard of a frost yet. Finally got a flag that represents me too. Hooray! And, um, oh, there's a mosquito trying to get me here. Yeah, so some of this harvest stuff happens in the dead of winter, like the sunchoke. I usually harvest that in December. And we do a lot of earthworks in the middle of winter. Eventually, I'm still hoping that the township will get on top of it with the um, rain barrels and we can do the install of that. We can do cross-country skiing. 
I am looking into getting a car so we could go see parks and look for native plants and seeds and cuttings there. Uh, the quail, I am, against my better judgment, planning to do a hatch as soon as I start to see the eggs are coming uh, out fertile. So, um, you'll see that soon too, and then we'll have baby quail through the winter. So that's what you can look forward to, even though I'm a gardening channel without a greenhouse. Is, uh, I haven't found myself to need one. The dormancy period on all the plants helps me a lot as far as, you know, handling everything. I may do a greenhouse someday, but it's a big endeavor and I want to design it perfect and so that I can include quail and blah blah blah. You know, that kind of thing, blah blah blah. Yeah, that stuff. Um, and because of that, it's going to be a while. I'll probably think for a solid two years about it before anything actually happens. The view gets a lot better as the trees drop their leaves. And wintertime, while the soil is moist but not frozen... Oh, there's somebody fly fishing down on the sandbar down there. Um, or he's got his waders on. He's out in the water. Uh, it's a really good time to get down to the... Um, the landslide and keep up on it and I have a friend that's gonna help me take out this particular tree here even though it's right on the edge of the cliff we're bartering I'm providing plant material and she has cliffside restoration experience like with a college degree and everything so maybe if she's game we could do that together on film I will need an editor before that because it's going to have to be a longer video with things patched together. But, uh, yeah, we can do that. All the things. So I don't want you to give up on me just because it's coming up on winter time. I want you to know that I'm still doing stuff and the channel will definitely still have a good amount of content all winter regardless of whether it's snowy as heck we'll go skiing or if it's not snowy we'll continue to garden that's when I dig things and move rocks and get things set up this is an ash tree so is that two different species it's about time to start coppicing them again or at least the biggest branches can be coppiced. Yeah. The neighbor's child is, is the one screaming. Just so you know, it's not mine. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. So, yep, that's uh, what to expect from the winter time on a permaculture channel in a temperate, cold winter climate. As far as I'm concerned, anyway, let me know what you're looking forward to most down in the comments. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the cliffside. That you can actually see down pretty well right now. This is permaculture. Take care. Bye.